along with Granny and Craig. We think Craig's on vacation. Pretty sure you said that. We think he mentioned that the other day, but nobody can actually remember. No. Craig is going to be on vacation for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? Yeah. There's been some weird things going on of late. Some weird booking. Why did Britt Baker lose that match on Wednesday? If she was going to get a championship match against Chris Statlander on Saturday, the work horsemen, they are now getting a tag team championship match. And as they're standing in the ring, having a stare down with the champions, the fans are chanting, who are you? Yeah, that happened. This is a problem. Ricky Stark says, I can't believe they just played a Brian Danielson yeah. video package with Zack Sabre Jr. Because I beat Brian Danielson, and uh, and the other guy doesn't even work for this company, and I can't even get a match on that show in Seattle. Which, when you think about it, why did Ricky Starks pin Brian Danielson? Now the Ring of Honor trios titles are being regularly offended on this show. We're getting a Keith Lee promo. Collision take 22. Excuse me. Take 22. They tried 21 different Keith Lee promos that were not good, so they had to do take 22 live, apparently. If I ever hear the words take 22, I quit. When this show first started, Scorpio Sky was going to be like one of the stars of the show, yeah. and he was there for like a week or two, and then he vanished again. Well, now he's getting more vignettes. And then Andrade beats him with a figure eight. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Yeah. What? <laughs> Fully cocked Colton Gunn. That's what you do to guns. You cock them. That's a fact. Has nothing to do with genitals. And uh, Vinny, these all have to do with genitals. I didn't know that tits and cock were like okay words. If I would have known that, Observer Live would be totally different. How's it going, everybody? Brian Alvarez here on Wrestling. Tits and cock. Main event, Britt Baker versus Chris Statlander. Well, here we go again. What in the fuck is going on with Britt Baker? All she does is get beat and beat and beat and beat and beat and beat and beat. Why are we doing this? Yeah, I don't have an answer to any of that. Granny, you are number one. Granny, you are number one. Oh, man. Did you see that, Granny? It's not going to be on every week. Every week for you, Granny. Ah. Yeah, that's right. What do you think about that? Too long. You talking, chose that song. I'm talking about the pictures. Ah, too bad. I'll quit. If you were to describe Craig in three words, what would they be? He's a nice guy. That's four words. It is. Nice guy him. <laughs> Undertaker versus Unabomb. Oh, wow. Okay. Has Unabomb down... Goes to top rope, jumps, no Unibom. He lands hard. <laughs> you don't want to roll, man. <laughs> that was some words. I have a thing on here where I can go and get all kinds of uh, things that are going to happen. Isn't that the internet? Them, a lot of, oh yeah. And a lot of them don't happen though, because I want it one to happen so bad. This sounds thing. like uh, our website. <laughs> Like a granny licks her finger to turn the page. <laughs> we had some neighbors. They had a little horse. One day the horse disappeared and we didn't know if they sold it or ate it. <laughs> I think it was ate it. I used to go over there and spend the night with the girls. I was quite a bit Did you ever eat dinner there? No. The girls, the twins, they met, they'd met this father and son. And oh, no. One of them married the father, and the other married the son. Can you imagine how different ways they are related? The, the I, daughters, I actually can't. That was a weird bunch. The dad was a uh, stepdad to the girls, and they got, got kind of familiar once in a while. <laughs> what? Move on. Go. <laughs> Don't. Just go. He's was having a cow, town too. not inbred? <laughs> anyway, we used to have to churn butter. Are you having fun, Wendy? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> a Chicago duo of a steel and yes, C M Punk. Yeah, I mean he left AEW and went right to this show. He, he I cannot <laughs> avoid this man. He, he left AEW, got, grabbed himself Orlando Jordan's time machine, went back to 2002 and joined TNA. I know people are going to listen to this and say, "Well, you know, Brian has heat or some shit with CM Punk." 
But I would bet you anything that if you interviewed CM Punk, he would say the exact same thing I'm about to say right now, which is huh. this guy was like, he had four left feet in this match. <laughs> like, Well, you're right. Everything he did, he fell down on. Dave said about this match in 2002 that people who have seen Punk in action remarked how they thought all night that somebody had invaded his body. <laughs> <laughs> there you go then. Wow. We have AW Grand Slam, which did a giant number. The overrun for the main event, which almost hit 1.1 million. So a very, very successful night one of Grand Slam and a great show. What a mean guy match this was. Hometown guy wins to win both belts. I thought, man, that was a great main event to cap off a... Oh, wait, that was the opener. That was the opener. Roderick Strong, you see, is on his deathbed with his goddamn neck brace on and those stupid fucking glasses and like where in the fuck did they get this bed this bed is so fucking loud and then it focuses on cole again and he's just hanging his head he's like man i gotta go and so he starts to go and then you just hear and the fucking bed goes back down again i was crying there were two botched spots and a lot of people are very fixated on the two botch spots. Shit happens. Yeah. How was the match overall? Well, from start to finish, I mean, it was a very good match. And yes, and the post-match was even better. Phoenix does a flip dive and lands with his ass right on John Moxley's head on the floor. Maybe he thought, man, I could be out for a long time or, or what. But I guess he just told Phoenix, like, you're winning. Hit the big splash. Hit the finish. So the ref counts one. He counts two. And then he stops. And you just see Moxie in his back. He looks at Rick Knox and he goes, Fuck you! <laughs> the word was mild concussion. Don't get mad at me about whether there's such a thing as a mild concussion or not. Don't shoot the messenger. That's the word that came from the back was it was a mild concussion. Adam Cole is back. And this poor guy runs and he jumps off that ramp to the floor. Destroys his ankle. All I know is they x-rayed his foot. So they probably thought it was bad. I don't know. I don't know. What the x-ray showed, Max chokes him out for the win. Mm. He choked out Samoa Joe to retain the title. And the place goes fucking crazy. I thought Samoa Joe was fantastic in this match. I thought MGF was fantastic in this match. What a great show this was. I just wish people hadn't gotten hurt. Becky comes out for a promo. She has a rap. A literal rap about the entire NXT women's roster. Don't you guys remember all those fucking promos where it was all... Like, she just loves puns. And she would always do these wacky puns in her in her interviews. And it's like, one 15-second thing ended up on Twitter. Everybody who doesn't watch NXT watches a segment. They decide that Becky... We actually had a thread on our board. Becky is a horrible promo. And I was like, fuck off. It was like one thing she did. So he busts out a move I have not seen, a name I have not used in like two decades. A Viagra driver. The pump handle into a Michinoku driver. God damn, that's what it was called. Yes. He calls it the better end. Well, we don't... Somehow, even though Vic had never, ever, ever seen this move before, he immediately knew what it was called. Two of the best workers on earth are in this company. And one of them is Nathan Frazier, and the other is Ilya Dragunov. They are as good as anyone in any company. AEW, New Japan, the main fucking roster. They are unbelievable. Roxanne Perez versus Lola Vice. What did you think of this? I think Lola Vice is one of the best rookies I've ever seen. That's what I thought. I she am, was great in this match. I am in awe of Lola Vice. Well, Mustafa Ali is here. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? At least he went out in a blaze of glory with this promo. It was a great promo. Tiffany and Kiana. I describe this as porn acting. That's not fair to porn. Porn is much better than this. Wow. I thought the match, I thought everybody looked good. I thought Tiffany looked good here. I thought Kiana looked good. Becky always looks good. Lyra looked good. You know, this was this was a very, very successful main event. Yeah. That show was awesome. Yeah, I thought both of these shows were great. Yep. That's another week of two great shows.